Hello YouTube, and welcome back to the ProMine server with Gankadia. So uh, I actually had a little bit of a creeper explosion o over here on my on my spawn plot. Uh, so I, I took the opportunity to do a little bit of remodeling here. Not, some, not a lot of changes, but a couple here and there. So what I did was I expanded the menu a little bit. And uh, I do actually now have rabbit and rabbit stew on the, on the menu here. Unfortunately, I only have one rabbit and at the moment, no rabbit stew. That's going to change when Space Dirt and I build the, um, or I guess we're calling it the elevated animal farm at this point. But we still need to work on that, hopefully this week or, some, or sometime in the near future. Same goes with mutton. I've only got a little bit left of that. And well, steak, well, oh, um, and it looks like some of it was medium and some of it was uh, well done and some was definitely rare. Ah, oh, well, I guess that this, this chef needs, needs a little bit of practice with that. But I do have quite a bit more melon. If I get a chance, I want to put some more apples in here. I think that's going to be useful in, in the future. And eventually I will have cake, but right now I don't have easy access to cows, so I can't really make cake. Plus it's a big automated process. And one other thing I did in the back here, especially as this, this is for the mushroom stew, is I just hooked up a, a chest to a hopper in the back, so that now whenever someone's hungry and wants mushroom stew, they can they click push the button, gets one, they can eat it, and it'll automatically re refill, and because only this, this stuff doesn't stack, it'll automatically have nine in there at all times. <clears throat> Dropping dishes off. Oh, some, some bones and a poison potato behind. Oh. Okay, so uh, without further ado, we're, we're going to pick back up with the uh, ProMine Art Server. Uh, the, sorry, the ProMine Server Art Museum. See, it's right up there. I like the way it's coming up so coming out so far. I, I really am pleased with, with... Oh, actually, I didn't show you those yet. Hang on. And I'm back up here. I still I love this view. I'm so glad I managed to maintain it. But uh, a couple days ago, I had this really interesting idea, and I was like, oh, that could work. That could work. So basically what I did was I took some birch um, fence posts here. I used birch because it's very light in color and similar to the sandstone we're using already. And I took a block of nether quartz and just um, made it with a couple of torches. This is basically like a, a, a quartz and birch fence version of the torches they have in in the villages. I don't, I don't know if you can see, you can see the black one right over there with the black wool. So I, I want to use that because it gives me some illumination. I, I still have to work on the lighting levels on here. I think mobs do spawn right in the middle here. So I'll have to work on that. But it does give me some illumination while maintaining the view. So cool. I'll have to work on that. I want to know what the heck that thing is. It's like a triangle on the side over there. Like a triangle over there. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, so today we're not going to do a heck of a lot, but I do want to. I want to want to build out this thing a little bit more. So let's grab some smooth stone. So what I did off camera, this is the main area of the art museum. But I, what I also did was I leveled out the second hill over here. So this is kind of like the what is this? Uh, I guess I'm going to call it the south wing uh, of the of the museum. So basically you have two wings, and this, actually this area here I left like this, because, I mean, look at this view. I, 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 I know Minecraft is all about, you know, building and crafting and everything, but sometimes you got to appreciate the views, and when you have the views, you should really, really try and keep them. I don't want to wreck it with, 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 with this building when, when, when I put it in there. So what I'm going to do is, probably from here to here, I'm going to make this all in glass. And if I can, I want to try and make it like a glass half dome up to maybe this point. And the reason I want to make it a half dome is because this is, this is going to be a two-floor deal, at least two floors. So I got to, now what I have to figure out is how to block this thing. I'll work on the floors later. That's going to be a, a thing in and of itself. i got to figure out how to block this thing off, exactly. So my thinking, and I, I like this the idea I had the last episode with the, uh, which I used the uh, nether, nether rack to mark off sort of a central hallway, and then it kind of branches off here. So I'm thinking it could almost be like a like it wouldn't have to be a straight hallway, although it probably would be in, in, the, in the beginning. Hmm. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this looks, shall we? And again, I'm using the, the, this, this uh, sandstone just temporarily. Actually, you know what? I, no, no point in doing it, doing it like that. I, do not, I don't want to use the sandstone as, as interior walls. I want to use them as exterior walls if at all possible. So what, so what am I going to use on the inside? I really didn't think about that too much, did I? Hmm. Oh, you know what I could do? Make, make it look a little bit raw. Is I could use regular sandstone. 
That could work. Alrighty then. Let's try this. Okay, that seems to me a little bit much. But it could work. Just gonna drop down some regular sandstone here. Yeah, I, I mean, in, in, the, in the initial uh, Creative World version that I showed you uh, two episodes ago, I, I did use sandstone, and it's interesting. I, I like walk, working with sandstone whenever I can. It just it always feels very raw to me. Uh, it's, it's a very uneven kind of kind of stone, similar I think to cobblestone. So what I'm doing right now is just knocking off a quick sort of zig not I don't mean zigzag, but like an in a. Uh, uh, narrowing to the right hallway. So let's, let's just check, check this out. So the idea. Oh, by the way, I I was I asked the uh, server permission, and I did get tentative approval to uh, to divert the road up here to the art museum. I haven't quite figured out exactly how, but basically it's going to be. See, that's the that's Space Nerd's place right there, and that is I'm pretty sure Space Nerd's uh, sheep and cows and his uh, pond with with wheat, and also I can't really see it from here, but there's also a um, a mine shaft. I think it's like right over here too. So I think it makes me hard to work around, but I can do it. I definitely have to wait for Spacer to get on and figure out uh, how we're gonna uh, move the stuff around. We might just move him into the um, the, the elevated uh, animal farm once we build it, but we'll see. So anyway, actually, yeah, you know, should I even do that like that? I mean, I I, I thought I was envisioning it using that one over there, but this one might be even more convenient. We just have to move. I just have to move all the the um the wolves yeah because i think it'd be better so what i'm going to do go from this point here branch forward and after a certain point curve it right up to here now my, my tentative idea is i want to try and get a single lava source block to run from the top to the, the bottom. I don't know if I can actually achieve that, but that, that, that's kind of like, like my, my working goal at this point. So you, you go over there, you come off, the, off from the road, which I'm going to try and make as, as, as glass-like as possible. We'll see. Come over here, turn around, you see the board here, Art Museum, Permanent Traveling Exhibitions, and you see um, which ones you want to look at. It's like, oh, there, there, there's Friskies at, um, I got to figure out how I'm going to name the halls. Hmm. And you turned here. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, I might be able to do, do, do some cool stuff with the way the walls are, possibly. Because this, this, right now, this feels a little bit wide. But then it's it it sort of getting narrowing, which works in a way. Because it gets narrowed, then it goes over here. So it, it looks semi-organic. The tricky part at this point is that this is not going to be a, a stable wall. This, this is going to have to be the entranceway to several hallways. So the question now becomes, yeah, see, when, once you get to this point, that's going to have to go over that way. Hmm. What about something like this? Come on. Make this a diagonal. Oh, need more. Insufficient sandstone. Need input. So glad I, I I I went mining in the uh and and the sand the sand quarry for a few hours a while back. Definitely need a lot of this stuff. I knew I was going to. Okay, that looks a little bit small. Nope, that should work. And you get over here, and this is gonna be the second sort of hallway into this area here. And I'll figure out what to do with that in a minute. But right now, this this thing is looking kind of big and i don't really like that that much i know the simplest way for me to do this is just to to cut off in, into into quarters so that way you have kind of like one with a, a weird looking wall so that's the thing I, I, do i want to have a weird looking wall or do i want it to have sort of a, a an artificial partition You know what? I kind of want it to have an artificial partition, and here's my reasoning why. I want it to be to give the illusion that it's movable. Let's try here. See how this goes, this turns out. Let me drop that torch because mobs are going to start spawning for you soon. I've had a lot of trouble with with skeletons and things spawning right there. I don't know why because that place is pretty well lit up. Hmm. Okay, so 
So this would be hall number, hall A. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I'll, I'll name it relative to the entrance. So this is A, and then it's a pretty big hall, come to think of it. Well, that's true. It doesn't actually have to be like one hall per person necessarily. Let's go with uh, maybe this for B. I know I'm being very original with the names right now. I, I may decide to make them kind of cool names, but my concern is that people won't be able to find anything when they uh, when, when they want to find a certain, a certain exhibit. Then again, you know, this isn't exactly the Taj Mahal I'm building. This thing won't be too hard to navigate through. And then again, you know, the, the you know the joke about the Indiana Jones's friend Marcus Brody who got lost in his own museum. Well, this is my museum, and I might get lost in here. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I put down uh, smooth stone instead of regular sandstone. It looks the same from the top, so I couldn't tell immediately. You guys could probably tell me, like, what are you doing? Like, this is what I'm doing. Okay. So let's go here and just continue this wall. There we go. Let's, let's, let's go up and take a look. So right now we've got three halls in the in this, I guess, the north wing, I, and that, that kind of works. Um, the, the 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 halls are very, you know, uh, I have two that are irregular shape and one that's very regular in shape, and I, and I think that works. That they, they aren't perfectly, you know, the. Uh, Square and I think that I think that, uh, that that works to our benefit. Keeps it looking kind of interesting and and of course I wanted to to build these things in such a way that um, people could make artificial walls on the inside to change change the way it looks. So these um, sandstone walls may not end up being internal walls per se. They may end up being just sort of exterior walls to the hall rooms. Hmm. That could work. Let's get rid of this stuff. So far, we have not had a problem with mob spawning. I'm happy about that. So now, the question is how to get people into here. Because this is the entranceway. And I'm thinking, like... I think I'd like to have two. I don't want to have one wide, en uh, one wide uh, entrances into the rooms. And I could go, I could go three if, if I wanted to, but for now we're just going to use two. And I, I want it. Yeah, I'm doing like this, so they have like a little extra space. Yeah, that works. And like I said, I'll, I'll work on the floors when I get a chance. This little corner over here is going to be a pain. So whoever gets whoever gets hall C, I have to figure out some way to deal with this corner. But, you know, that's the way it goes. I, I wanted to go with an organic shape, and sometimes the organic is messy. Okay, another thing I want to do is I think I want to have two entrances to Hall C. Because it is in the corner. So, oh, you know what? That would do it. Yes. This will fix the problem of the corner. Make it an entrance. So you come in here. Uh, Hall C has two entrances. Okay, now one thing I, want, I do want to do is let's see here. I want to make because uh, in a lot of museums they don't just have you know one in and out of a of a um, exhibition. They've got uh, they ha they have multiple um, doorways through them, so you can walk from one to the other. So let's say if you walk in here, go into Hall A. You want to go from Hall A to Hall B. You would go. Well, you could go through here, and I guess you probably should because of how ugly this thing is. And you do you do lose some wall space. That, that, that's un, that's unfortunate. So I'm, but this one, I'm, I'm thinking I want to keep that wall as much as I can. The one problem is that, yeah. Well, it's it's not the end of the world. It really is not the end of the world because you can still, if we go from here to here, you can kind of see. The other side, and you, and you kind of lose the illusion in a way. But you solve the problem with the wall, the wall itself. So over here, I think I'm going to keep that going. There we go. 
That should do it. Okay, we've basically got our blocking out for this. Okay, now let's turn our attention to, uh, to, to, to the south wing. And for this one, I want to do something very similar, but like I said, I also want to have, I'm going to call it the, 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 the solarium or the, maybe the greenhouse room. It's not, not nothing to be too fancy. <sighs> but you know what? Something is telling me I should not use sandstone for this wall. I don't know what it is, but I think sandstone is not, well, it would keep it with this though. No, 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 no. I know why no, but you know why no? I know why no, because I think I want to have something green in there. Uh, I, I, I might have to take it for myself. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll have to decide in the future which of these rooms I want to make at least one or two exhibitions in. But I, right now, I'm thinking stone brick with vines covering it. And I'm pretty sure someone's found a jungle biome at this point. If they, Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Spider? Ooh, it's a enchanted spider. Oh, yeah. Potion spider. Spider, meet Pele. That was a weird sound. Alrighty then. So, this, again, this wall is going to be tricky. I kind of want to do this. And just sort of cut in from here. Nope, nope, that, that looks terrible. Not, not, not bad terrible, but like, just, no. Right, so what, what I now what I'm thinking is, because I also, I want to try and maintain as much of the view as I can. I want to kind of give a preview of the view using, that. yep, sandstone. There we go. How about this? That kind of works. That kind of works for me. This way, oh, maybe one more. There we go. So this way, you have sort of a a half or, or at least a partial wall. So the idea being you come from the north wing out here, either from the hallway or from uh, Hall C, move over here, and... Oh, hello. Set you on fire. You come into Hall C. Yeah, this thing is smaller than I realized. Hmm. So I'm at this point I'm thinking like this. This wall here. Ooh, that could work. That could work. No, not, 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 wrong side. Cut that by one. Sandstone here. I put two. Yeah. So you get like this. You kind of see some of some of the wall here. Actually, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna force perspective like this, I want it a little smaller than that. Yeah, that, 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 that's an art an art class term. There is a art as force perspective. All right. Let's, let's, let's rehearse this, shall we? Coming from the hallway, you can kind of see the glass. Going to the hallway, you see more of the glass and maybe just the greenery behind the glass. Mm. You know what? I'm, make, I'm, I'm gonna make a decision here. I can move this later, but this space is gonna bug the hell out of me. So I'm actually gonna make that, I'm gonna seal off. I may, I may just drape like greenery around there or something. This, however, I want to make this a little bit bigger. I hear a zombie. It might, might be below us. I could have sworn I, I, I closed out that cave. I think it might still be there. So uh, let's go up high and take a little, quick look, shall we? So hallway here. Green room here. Which, I don't know. Let's see what I can do. And over here, I guess it could be... Trying to, trying to gauge size. This looks like one hall. It, it's a pretty big hall, but I could subdivide into two halls, actually. 
Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do. I'm making it into two halls. Make it um, fairly uniform. Uh, unlike with the other ones, I'm actually gonna make the the, the entrance between them. Actually, you know what? No, because these are smaller. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them the added benefit of a little privacy. There we go. So you go in here. It's like a one little mini mini gallery. I call this gallery D. Go over here, and this is gallery E. Nope. nope. Hmm. Actually, that kind of works. Hmm. Yeah, that could work. Okay, be right back. Yep, yep, this works for me. Okay, so what, what I'm doing is basically making smaller pillars as the entrances to, the, to each of these rooms. And I'm tempted to make it over here and I, I may do that later on, but right now I want to keep these open because I because I, people are going to want to customize these areas. I don't really want to have to sort of force them to use to incorporate pillars into their design if you know if they don't want to. I want them to be a little more clean. But the entrances from the hallway, those I'm going to I'm going to mark with these pillars. And I'm I'm, I'm very glad that I use the the two block approach. And don't forget, I, I'm going to make these walls much taller. They're going to be pretty tall when, 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 I, when I get through with them. But right now, I'm just going to mark it off with that. Go over here. Hit this. And this. And over here, yeah, this, this is what I was thinking. When I accidentally placed that, 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 uh, ah, no, I accidentally placed that smooth stone, I was like, you know what would look good here? A pillar. I'm like, oh, you know what would look good everywhere? More pillars. More pillars. There should be a Minecraft mod called More Pillars or Mo Pillars. Cool. All right, so, so this, this, this is not, I wouldn't actually call this a hall exactly. This is kind of like, the cap of the hallway is going to be the, the, this, this glassed off area. And I, I could start working on the dome part of it, but I, th I think it's going to be tricky because I'm not sure how, where the ceiling is actually going to go. And we have one actually major problem right now. This thing, as I said many times, is going to be at least two floors. Oh, missed a spot. No, I didn't. Did that? Oh, sorry. Off camera, there was an enderman around here. I thought I had a block. I think it stole one of my sandstone blocks. Damn you, Enderman! So how am I gonna? Th I'm gonna work on this. Ah, sorry. The, the problem I was saying before is that I do. Is that this thing is two floors. So my first thought is putting a staircase right here, and that actually might work. And if I can, I think I have enough materials. I want to make it out of quartz. But at the moment, I don't really. I don't really have enough. I don't really want to waste my quartz if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use dirt. Where's my dirt? Dirt, dirt, McGurk. Oh, I think I left it in my ender chest. Very glad I put this ender chest here. This thing is so handy. I might as well use the grass blocks. Uh, I, when, I, when I was digging out the, uh, the south hall, I, I I used my silk touch pick, so I ended up with a whole bunch of grass blocks. Kind of useful. Just gonna make this thing. I actually don't know how tall this, thing, this is gonna be make, by making this fairly tall. Okay, I, right now I've got three. I could make it six and maybe maybe eight. I, I want I, I, the reason I want to make these for halls very tall is because I want some people to be able to put statues in here. And statues, in, in order to get decent definition, you gotta make them at least at least six tall. Yeah, if, if you're not using half slab. So we'll see about that. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, well, th- this, this thing is definitely starting to take shape. Um, I, I've got most of these halls blocked out here. I've got one, two, three, four, five halls on uh, on, the, on the first floor. I think on the second floor, I might... You know what? That's just not my bad idea. I don't know. I'll, I'll think I'll give it some, some thought. But on the next floor, I'll definitely have to give, I'll give, give them some more more uh, floors than that. But anyway, this is Kankadia on the Pro Mine server, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>